whilst I take a break from doing this sleeper project, the retaining wall, um, I thought I'd do a real short video on, I guess, some of the pros and cons of using oak as a building material for landscaping. Uh, now, obviously, it's used in construction uh, for hundreds of years in, in buildings, um, but as far as these sort of landscaping grade sleepers, they, they really do vary quite a bit. So this is a typical European white oak uh, sleeper, quite pale. I've taken the, the corners off here with the plane, uh, or you could do it with a router, just kind of soften the look. And I probably will give these a final bit of a sand. Usually you'll, you'll get quite a lot of saw marks on here. Uh, they don't show up when they're rough sawn like this. But if you start sanding, then they become more evident. So if you are looking for a rustic look, just leave them as they are. The sort of grade allows for some of the wany edge, some of the bark uh, to, to show on them. But it's usually only on two corners, so you can hide it behind the wall. They're very, very heavy to start with. Uh, so you, you know, you've got to remember that if you're working on your own, uh, the, the, the eight foot lengths, the 2.4 meters, are going to be well in excess of 40, 50 kilo, more like 60. So it's probably a two person lift if you've got great distances to, to move. And the chunkier ones are even trickier again to move around. So they start off this sort of pale color and they will soon silver down, sort of go a silver gray with the UV light from the sun. So if you do want the sort of more brownie, light brown oak look, then you're best putting UV oil on there. Uh, Osmo do a UV oil, a clear one, which should just kind of, it'll probably warm it up a little bit in colour, but it'll try and maintain the uh, the natural colour and it won't be affected by the UV. It, they also do an oak colour, which we used, or they call it oak colour, which we used on our project in our garden, and that's a much warmer brown, um, more, more like this, sleeper here which is a came in the same batch but it's slightly darker and um, and again that will hold the gray off uh, and it will keep that warm color but typically most people leave them natural they'll gray down and just sort of blend into the environment that they're in so negatives of course we, I mentioned weight machining them ie kind of the cutting the sanding planing whatever you're drilling whatever you're doing to them is pr probably about twice as hard as softwood I, it's going to take tw twice the amount of time to do the cutting and drilling, uh, which does add up. Um, if you're using a circular saw, then you want to make sure you're doing smaller passes to do any cuts. Um, and, and things like machining the edges or drilling, it just go slow and uh, uh, you'll get there in the end. It is green oak, so it's much easier to work with compared to a dry aged oak. Uh, but it's worth bearing in mind, you know, if these were softwood treated sleepers, you could just bang uh, self-drilling landscaping screws uh, straight through. Whereas there's no chance of that with these, you definitely need to pre-drill uh, any holes. Another thing with oak is the tannins and the, the sort of natural characteristics of oak need to, you need to use stainless steel, ideally, a good quality stainless steel. Standard steel or... Um, even galvanized fixings will uh, degrade they'll almost like rot through the tannins kind of eat through the metal so stainless is the way to go and uh, and if you don't want to use metal at all which is what we avoided in our project we used oak dowels uh, we were laying these down horizontally and we drilled and pegged everything with oak dowels they the, these then shrunk over time and the whole lot just locked together with no metal needed Cost-wise, I think they've dropped remarkably over the last kind of 10 years or so in that, you know, now these are probably about 50% more expensive than softwood. That will vary wherever you get them, but um, it's, it's enough to not put you off using oak. And the longevity of them is the argument, you know, that that's the, the, the major pro for having these is that they're going to outlast any softwood sleeper especially if they're installed correctly and you know you'd want proper drainage you don't want them in contact with the soil as well as much as possible to avoid that um, but these will easily last 50 years if they're installed correctly whereas softwood treated sleepers as soon as you start cutting and drilling 
you cut beyond the penetration of the pressure treated uh, kind of timbers and then of course water moisture can get in there and rot from the inside out and of course where it's sat touching soil they're more inclined to start rotting before the oak will. When you buy the sleepers, oak sleepers, there is a variety of qualities within the, the, the batch and I've picked out two of the the worst or the, the most extreme ones here. You can see there's a lot of checking in the end here which are kind of cracks that go the length of the grain. That's not a structural issue but it will mean that the aesthetics of it change, you know, you will get more of these cracks up here. These are also slightly darker oak, um, yet they came in the same batch, so if you wanted a completely uniform look, you might want to go for the uh, pressure treated softwood, but uh, saying that, these will all sort of silver and grey and start mellowing anyway, but there will be a slight difference between the oak sleepers, I think. And I guess lastly, you, you need to be aware that this is freshly cut, it's full of moisture and it will shrink and it will crack and it will check. So, you know, you will end up with these characteristic sort of uh, cracks that come down the length of the grain. O on the majority that will happen, sometimes very small, sometimes they'll open right up. Um, and, and you will also, on the end grain, if you're using vertically, you will get some checking up there. But overall that's just part of the charm of oak and you will get that. It's still the same timber inside so although water can get into those cracks it will usually find its way out and it doesn't really cause too much of an issue. So I hope that gives you a bit of an insight into uh, these oak sleepers. Just thought I'd kind of mention it whilst I take a break from the, uh, the hot work of installing these. But thanks for watching. If you want to see a couple of the projects that I've done using oak sleepers, I will leave some links at the end of this video. But apart from that, thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.